everybody, it's Coffee with Will, and today we're talking about, not wrong notes, but we're talking about the magic of being in the flow at a concert, whether it's chamber music, rock and roll, stadiums, or a symphonic concert, what that experience is like and how powerful it is when people come together in community, people that might be strangers are all gathering together and they feel this synchronicity being together in a room, whether it's Grateful Dead, Austin Symphony Orchestra, Miro Quartet. And I'm gonna bring my friend Charles Pruitt on board here in a minute. He's invited to be a part of this broadcast. Charles Pruitt is a longtime member of the Austin Symphony Orchestra. He's also an amazing concert cellist who has a project where he plays the music of Bach in beautiful halls around Austin, Texas. And he's got a gorgeous instrument that's centuries old that um, at the end of this video, he'll play a short sample on his cello. But first thing we're going to do here is try to get him on board. We need to get Charles on the broadcast. Charles, are you there? All right. I'm going to do a little sharing here. Can you get it uh, on your phone, Patrick? Uh, I am looking right now. I'm just trying to look at it on the laptop. Is it coming up? Do we have sound? So I, bear with us, folks, while we get a uh, sound here. That's the other one. That's the old one. Just reload me. Oh, I, yeah, I should be up there. That's the wrong. Go up. Okay. All right, we're waiting for Charles Pruitt, cellist player, a friend of mine. We're always still getting used to technology here and the pace of it. We just got to be patient. Um, it's the wrong. Um, you're on the wrong. Charles. We're going to have Charles Pruitt, cellist with the Austin Symphony, good friend of mine for over 20 years. We met at a recording session at the recording studio owned by ZZ Top at the time. I don't even know if that is still there, but it's out near. Are we live? We're not live there. It says, I did just see what the heck? Yeah. Just reload the page. We're trying to get Charles Pruitt on here. We did it last time, so we just need a little. There we are. We just need a moment or two. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to play piano until Charles comes on board. Patrick's watching. <clears throat> so this is um, a piece by Grieg, which is written in four parts. See if Charles comes. <laughs> I'll hear Charles there in the background. Wow, is that really true? No, that's not right. play piano I just play okay here we go bring Charles on camera I don't really play piano on, on live broadcasts remember that <laughs> Good Charles there yeah that's me awesome hey, Paul. can you hear me you know. wait a minute I can't hear you hold on I have to turn up the volume here just give me a second. Yeah, is your volume on, Charles? It's I cannot my hear you. volume's up. Hmm. This will be weird. a problem if we don't have volume. Okay. How much of a delay do we have? Weird. Hey Carol. Wow. I tell you what, I can hear you on this laptop, but not on my phone. Oh, it's because yeah. we're using this mic. Do you realize that? It actually turns off. 
because it's making it think there's a headphone in there. Amazing. That's the problem. So, okay. We're going to pull this on. Oh, yeah. Get that cello up. Play some pizzicato. Let me see if... Okay, good. Now we got sound back. Unless there's like a mic in this. Is that what that is? See so what the headphones in. Okay. Right. Awesome. Hey, Charles. Hey, Will. Okay, welcome. Uh, let's start. Th let's let's start this. Let's do this for real. Okay. That that briefcase is not good in the back. <laughs> Put this over here. All right. All right. So, hey, welcome everybody. This is Charles Pruitt again. He's my good friend. Cellist with the Austin Symphony has a beautiful instrument. is a, is a beautiful friend. I've known him for all, over twenty years. We first met about 1998, a recording session at the ZZ Top studio in East Austin over near One World Theater. Do you still remember that session? I do. I think, uh, was were we there with Tracy? Was she also on the gig that day? Yeah. yeah. That's Let's right. get your camera settled. Do you have, I'll, I'll wait. So yep. while you're getting that settled, I'll tell people what we're talking about. I was uh, in my car the other day. Let's see. Keep going. There we go. You got that's like better. That's okay. good. Hey, Jamie Hillboat, how's it going? Jamie's a pianist. I've done some church gigs with him in the past. Yeah. So I'll start this again once once we're all settled, because then we can edit this later to be a little more like, right. you know, tight. Yeah. Right. You ready to start? Yes, sir. Okay. Here we go. Cut. <laughs> Marker. <laughs> This is Charles Pruitt. He's a cellist with the Austin Symphony. He's a good friend of mine. I wanted to bring him on board to get another musician's perspective about the topic that we're talking today on Coffee with Will. We're live in Austin, Texas. We've got the technology working. Uh, Charles and I met about 1998 when he moved here to play with the Austin Symphony. And we met at a recording session in East Austin at the studio that was set up by ZZ Top. It was a chamber music session. It was for a recording for a singer-songwriter. And that's actually around the time that I started the project Strings Attached, which basically Strings Attached, we, it's my arrangements of singer-songwriters, my string arrangements attached to local singer-songwriters. And that kind of got started with just doing that in the studio. People calling me, asking me to do strings for, for their songs. And I had so much fun with it that I thought, hey, why don't we start doing concerts in churches and, and bring these arrangements out just beyond the recordings. And Charles, very soon after I met him in 1998, became a member of Strings Attached. We played with people like Eliza Gilkison, Sean Colvin. That was one of the highlights, I think, for me, is being a fan of Sean Colvin's music for so many years. And we actually had two cellos on that gig. We had Sean Sanders and you and uh, me. Uh, it was a full band. So Charles has been a part of a lot of the music that I've done over the years. We played so much music together. I'm so honored that uh, we're still we're still friends and we do a wedding once in a while. But I wanted to bring him on board to get his perspective on this topic and also just hear what he's doing, what's coming up with him. He's going to play a little cello at the end if you stick around for the whole thing. But I here's the topic. You. Anyway, so I was... Good. What I like to do for Coffee with Will, usually it's I'm driving to work in the morning and I... My brain is just woke up and is tossing around some ideas that I want to share with people, some different perspectives. And uh, yesterday I was in the car and I was listening to a video of Lady Gaga at a giant auditorium. And she was inviting her co-star to come out, come up on stage with her for the movie, the co-star, the director of A Star is Born. Have you seen that movie, Charles? Yeah, I, uh, you're, talk, you're talking about the, can you hear me well? Yep. Um, I could, by the way, I can hear you pretty well. <clears throat> and right. if it sounds like I'm over projecting, let me know, because I could, I could definitely hear no, you better good. than I need to. Okay, um, you're good. Is that better? Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's yeah, there's, better. Actually, um, Facebook will make, it'll make adjustments to the levels, so it's not going to be <clears throat> too much. It's better to be a yeah, little well, louder. Yeah, well, over. Is that me or you? You're, you're dipping. Yeah, it looks like my phone just... Okay, cut. Start that one again. Yeah. If you just joined uh, us, this is Charles Pruitt, cellist with the Austin Symphony, friend of mine. And I, w I wanted to start the topic again. Hey, Peggy, how's it going? 
So the topic is, I was listening to this video of Lady Gaga bringing on Bradley Cooper, I think is his name. He's the guy that he starred and he directed A Star is Born. It's a remake. Uh, Barbara Streisand was in this movie many years ago. And it got me thinking, I got 20% left, but it got me thinking. Recently, I've been watching some, some uh, videos on getting in the flow state, that state that, that artists, uh, business people, anybody, any human being can get into this flow state. That's where sort of time disappears and you don't, you know, an hour or two goes by and, you're, and you think, what the heck? Two hours have gone by. I've been so absorbed in my activity and so at peace with myself. This, this flow state. Are you familiar with that, Charles? What I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I, I do. And, okay, and I, so I think we state, both know what that the, flow state is in its true we, sense. Right. Yeah. And so and they mentioned in this training video that, it's, that it can occur, at, you know, with 10,000 people at a concert, you know, with one artist leading, you know, a whole audience to sort of get into that state. These could be all strangers in an audience. And so that's very fascinating mm -hmm. to me um, that, you know, we not only as a, as a musician who's a performer, do I get in or I like to be in that flow state performing with my musicians, but then we're sort of mirroring or we're leading people that are, that are essentially observing us to also become a part of that flow state and be in, it's kind of like, a way of creating peace in the world. And it was one way to look at it. And when you provide people that experience. But what's really interesting to me is, here's what I went with the thought. I'm watching that video of